a lot, all right? Let me allow me to explain. I'll very briefly kind of go through what you can expect. Today is going to be a major session of Persona 5, and I know, yes, I know, guys. Oh my god, more Persona 5. Um, I understand many people are burnt out on this game. Listen, last year I played Persona 5 from the month of April through June, then I had to put it on hold, then I put it up again, and then I had to put it on hold again. Then this year I resumed it in early July, played it all of July, and now here we are, almost the end of the first week of August, and I'm still playing it. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I get it. It's actually, if you guys don't know, it is actually the longest playthrough I've ever done in history. Ten years I've been a content creator. Is since it is my 10th anniversary as a content creator for the internet, that's right, 10 years. Persona 5 is by far the longest playthrough I've ever done. Far from the bright lights of Las Vegas or New York City. So what I'm hoping for here, um, what I'm hoping for is we'll be able to wrap up this playthrough within the next week. So On a tree from So, I'll probably do at least one to two major sessions of it this week, and then maybe if I need to, next week, one more major session to f try to finish it. People were telling me, eh, between 10 to 15 hours, so if I do three major sessions of it, we should be able to hopefully wrap up the game. That's 100% a lie. Okay. Um, I certainly hope so, because seriously... At this point, I agree with you guys. Like, I want it to end. I want to see the conclusion, and I want to move on to other stuff. And I know that when I play this game, I don't get much attention. I'm views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. I mean, it, just to give you guys an example, if you actually look at the month of July, my July performance on streams, okay? <clears throat> excluding Persona 5, okay? Excluding the Persona 5 streams... I actually had really high attendance. My attendance was way up. You know, on average, I, you know, in general, my streams get around 400 viewers. In July, because of the games I was playing, like Simpsons Hit and Run and Vice City and Silent Hill 2, my stream attendance was up to like six, 700 viewers. It was like a really high average viewer count. But then I, when I played Persona 5, only like 200 people would show up. <laughs> so what ended up happening is it actually d basically negated the positive view increases right, from all the other games that I was playing. Now, certainly I'm not saying, oh, well, JRPGs don't bring any views, I'm never going to play them again. But you see, my point is, this game has drug on for so damned long that it needs to end. Shocked, and that kind of shocked me, you know. And it, again, I apologize to those who are maybe looking for Octopath Traveler this summer. It, it, there's no way it can happen. And hopefully that'll give us an estimate. I don't know if this is going to be the final stream. I don't know if this is going to be the next to last stream. Or maybe we're way off. Maybe there's like three more streams, you know. Another 12 hours of gameplay. Uh, I have no idea. I'm so, I'm so confused. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. So I guess we'll see. I'm just looking for a fun gameplay experience, you know. So for me, I've been enjoying the game so far. Even though I have been, uh losing or i don't want to say losing but dying a lot i'm so dead dude i'm dead i cannot run this i'm done oh no i'll be going back to persona 5 <music> on my main gameplay stream and i'm really excited about going back to persona 5 because a lot of stuff is culminating uh, but, last night, guys, on Twitter, I put up a poll, because I wanted to see, I was curious what the interest was, um, for people regarding my next playthrough for the summer. As you guys know, we're about halfway through the month now of July, we're getting there, right? And, it's good, it's been a great July so far, you know, with games like Simpsons Hit and Run, the conclusion of Half-Life 2, Jack 3, Persona 5 Returning, I've really enjoyed so far, um... I really enjoyed this summer downtime. Even though there have been no new releases, I've been having a lot of fun with games, and you guys have been coming to the streams. You've been enjoying yourselves. You've been supportive. You know, it's been a really awesome experience. I cannot complain whatsoever. So I put up a poll last night wondering, gee, what would the next fun downtime playthrough be? And I had four options in this poll on Twitter. It was Silent Hill 2 HD. Um, well, I'm having a brain fart. Hold on a second.
They just made that game that flopped. Didn't they? Did they or did they not? Remedy made, wasn't it? Oh, God, what's the name of the game? I can't do it. I'm having, I'm having a massive brain fart here. Oh, my God. Why am I having such a brain fart? <laughs> I just can't take this nigga serious. God damn. I'm having a stupid brain fart. Okay. Or Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Okay, those were the four options that were in the poll that I put up on Twitter. I've never done Final Fantasy IV, and Final Fantasy IV is actually a, a RPG from my childhood that I've replayed a bajillion times. I could probably say I've played it 15 times over the course of my life because I like that game so much. Because people told me originally that I was only 20 hours away from beating this game. I've now played it 40 hours, and people are still saying there's 15 hours left, so obviously... People, people were way wrong when they were telling me this information, okay? And then they blame fucking me. Okay, so... I am attempting to finish this game, alright, in the next few sessions. Today, I feel we should probably get to the end of the free time, and at the very least, get into the major chunk of story that'll get us into the end game dungeon, hopefully. And then maybe we'll have, like, one to two more sessions to wrap it up, and hopefully that'll be it. I mean, seriously, I've had enough. I need to finish this game and get it over with. I can't have this keep going on and 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 on. I just can't, it, it, you know? I'm just not going to put up with this shit anymore. I'm not. Uh, I'm not putting up with that shit anymore. Um, it drives me nuts that people love the game, but then when I play it, they love it for spurts, and then they're like, oh, do something else. Like, well, dude, what did you expect was going to happen in the, one of the longest JRPGs ever made, you know? I definitely need to finish it up, Okay. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, four more hours of Persona 5 today. I want to thank you guys for being here. I understand a lot of people skip these streams because they don't like Persona 5. Fuck your mother. And it kind of sucks because, you know, right now I need your guys' help as much as I can. You know, as I said, July was one of the best months ever for streaming. Because of what's going on on YouTube, I really need that kind of performance again this month in August. And I'm nervous now because now... You know, this week in particular is going to be finishing up a lot of stuff that's kind of lingering before we get to the new releases. And I don't know if the new releases are going to bring in enough attention to make this month as good as last month was. I need that money to pay my bills. I'm going to do a session of Night in the Woods. And you might be saying, what the hell? Night in the Woods? Well, if you guys aren't aware, if you look at the sub count, we're way up on subs because uh, people were very generous gifting subs last week. Um, Wednesday... More Persona, I know. Oh, more Persona. I, listen, this is it. This is the push to finish the damn game. But you're talking about this game makes it sound to me like you're just looking for things to complain about. I have no idea. Maybe two more hours of Persona 5? I don't know. So, my friends, that is how we're dealing it, okay? Um, and uh, hopefully you guys are excited. Now, I have one big announcement today on the pre-stream. Ladies and gentlemen, my 10th anniversary line of merchandise has officially launched on my Teespring. This is a line of merch that I was working with the designer over the course of this year on. We went back and forth a few times with ideas for different designs and various things. And as of last night, I finally took the time, took about two hours to set all this up. Got it all up on my Teespring shop. Oh my god! <laughs> We've got many new designs up, however, there's a few there that I really like. I've actually ordered myself three of the different designs on t-shirts so that I can show these designs off on stream for you guys. Tonight, listen to this. I got to create the new patron thank you crawl to play on streams. I have to message all of the patrons on patreon.com who pledged in July to let them know their perks. I have to create the two threads, both for the 10 year anniversary event and the patron choice playthrough to link to all those patrons. Then when I'm done with all the pages stuff, then I gotta go through all this artwork for my 10th anniversary line of product on Teespring and try to create Teespring merch. I, I got a shitload of stuff to do tonight. I'm gonna be so busy. Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> or next week, early on next week at the earliest. 
Um, now, you know, money is very tight for me, but I figured this would be an investment. Hopefully, being able to show off this merchandise on... Here's the, here's the title card for it, by the way. Look at that. There's some of the new things. You have the graffiti design, the 10 years of Dark Side Phil design, the 2008 original design, and the King of Retro design. They're all really good. Whenever you wear a piece of my merchandise, immediately, your looks, right, your attractiveness goes up by about double, about 100% increase in attractiveness, all right? So, if you're, say... 2% attractive to the sex that you're trying to attract, you'll become 4%. If you're already 100% attractive, you will now become 200% attractive. And much like those fables and stories you hear where people drink a love potion and now everyone's in love with them and it's the opposite effect, that's the kind of effect you can get from wearing my merch. All right. And if you do buy anything, okay, from that line of product, number one, obviously, you're going to get a really cool new piece of merchandise, all right, but at the same time, I, it helps me out tremendously, I get a commission for every sale, all right, and like you guys know, right now, I really need your support, I'm not going to go into massive detail about it, you guys are regulars, and you know what's going on, um, a lot of you have actually said, oh, I'm interested in maybe buying something from the Teespring shop, but I'm waiting for the 10th anniversary line of product, so there you go, and you know, already I'm seeing it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up, some people in the stream chat are, are being critical, well, it's all words, it's all words, oh, uh you, you already did all words, and uh, I don't understand. You guys got to understand something. This is the truth. The designs that were not all words actually don't sell as well. Most of the one, the designs that have sold the best on my Teespring shop over the last year were actually all words. Or just like words with one little piece of artwork, like one little thing. Um, I You know, the things that actually have elaborate art usually don't sell. I don't know why, but that's the truth. I think What a slob. What a fucking slob. I think people like more simplistic stuff. Um, especially like, for, I'll give you an example. If you have a shirt that has my fucking face on it, how are you going to wear that shirt around? You know what I mean? Wow, what the hell is that shirt? Someone's face on it, you know, what is that? Versus if you have a shirt that just have a logo or something, that is something more generic that you could probably wear out about town or whatever, and no one's going to care what it says. You see what I mean? Versus if you wear a shirt with someone's face or, you know, cartoonish shit on it, people are going to look at it and try to see what is that. And that's more distracting to wear a normal shirt out than just a shirt that has a couple words on it. You know what I mean? That's the truth. Is that the, 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 the designs that are more like logos or words have sold better. And that's why, as you can see, this 10th anniversary line of product is primarily that. Okay? Rigby, who, said, who tipped me $5 in one cent, said, stop talking. <laughs> if you ain't even put in a day of 